Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm just a casual racer and today we're going to be checking out Expand Rally, a random racing game that I found on Steam. Currently it's available for $5 but I've often seen this down below a dollar for the game by itself. Um, I purchased this, purchased this game when it was under a dollar and so I'm just going to check it out in this video and we're going to see essentially, right, in this series we're just trying to see if the game is worth adding to your library for the, either the free price or the discounted price of these kind of random racing games that are being developed by either smaller studios or kind of maybe lost to time, such as this game is a little bit, this game is a little bit older. And so it's one that i um, interested to see how it's still gonna stand up. And is it worth adding to your, you know, your library? The big thing too, right? Richard Burns Rally exists. So that's definitely one that's gonna be a challenge to compete against. So right now we're here in the single race. I just clicked in. It does do wheel support um, and things like that. Maybe actually here, let me show you that real quick. If you go under controls, you can actually select the, you know, the axes and the brake and you click on it and everything. It actually allows you to even set up your other controls pretty well. Steering non-linearity. Actually, we want that to be straight. Um, in my experience with the force feedback. The force feedback isn't very good. It does have it. Um, video right here, as you see, it's not full screen. It doesn't really support a full screen, so that's another kind of downgrade. I mean, just obviously the fact that the whole screen isn't supported is something that I would say is really putting this on a back foot to something like Richard Burns Rally, which is abandoned where is now entirely free. So is it really worth spending a dollar by this game? Well, let's see. Visually, maybe it's going to be more impressive. Let's hope. You know, is there a lot more track options? Well... Not really. I see three options here. Um, a way to unlock more, perhaps. It does look like perhaps there is a way to unlock some more uh, circuits here, but even then, it doesn't look like there's a lot of options. So, considering there's so few under the play now, um, let's just jump in here in this championship mode. Um, event type three race competition, car required P class, event win prize, no special prize, right here in USA, Arizona. Um, all right, here's some prizes here. Let's see, what do we got for a garage? No garage, we gotta go buy one. All right. What did it say? It needed a, uh, need a P class. Okay. Go P3, yeah, so you see the horsepower differences. Well, let's go P3 then. Um, the Wolf 520 here, but we can't afford it. Ah, I see. Can we afford the P2? No. So we're stuck in the P1 class here. Okay, I see. Tiny Hooper, I suppose, is what we'll go with. Yes, we'll buy it. So see a little bit of a career mode here. Um, interesting. We got parts. You can uh, buy some parts here. We only have $700, so obviously we're not going to be able to afford too much here. Maybe look at getting some better tires, perhaps. I don't really see a lot of options that we can afford. Paint schemes cost more, so. All right, we're just gonna jump in like this, see how we can do. Um, we'll start the first race here. All right, we car setup options. Tires, suspension height. Okay, so pretty basic adjustments if we go for a stiffer suspension yeah, let's do that brake strength let's go very hard brake balance let's move it a little bit forward to the front forward yep um steering i think it'll be fine the way it is and oh you get to choose between automatic um it's a semi-automatic or a manual um go semi-automatic here my uh Manual shifter isn't uh, still not working, so I'll have to get a new one. Alrighty here, so let's jump in. And we're away. 20, 4 right, over bridge. Into 3 left, care. The bridge here. I guess I'm going to guess this is our uh, competition here. Kind of this ghost mode. Oh. Handling is a little bit weird. Right. Into long six left. Definitely doesn't feel very grounded. 
I'm gonna be honest. I mean, just looking at the visuals here, this is not very impressive. We didn't see that many track options. I'm not feeling very good about this title. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> I think this is gonna be a pretty short uh, video here. This is uh, pretty bad. Especially like we got so many other titles. This is five dollars right now, even on discount it's a dollar. This isn't worth anything. It's worse than free options. Which is why like the driving physics are terrible guys. And the force feedback's just horrible. It's just like a basic vibration effect. Yeah, this is this is genuinely bad. Oh my goodness, what is it doing? I mean they're hey, interactive. Uh, post here, but yeah, this is not good. Alright, well, this video is going to be short. I'll finish this rally up, and then um, the conclusion's been made. Uh, I'll just let you know right now. This game, visually, out of date, cost, there's better free options. Uh, honestly, if this was free, it still wouldn't be worth it. Um, expand rally. Goodness, turn, man. Turn. Where are we going? Oh, my. All the damage now visible there on the right. Oh, I mean, there's damage now physics, I guess, but... Am I turning the wheel very... You can't see the wheel on screen, but... I am cranking on it to make these corners, and it's like so much... Uh, understeer, it's insane. This car is... I mean, even within the physics of the game, this car is terrible to drive. <laughs> uh, goodness, what is... You have no connection to the road car just handles so weird the vibration right. effect is terrible um, my goodness 17, this is long five left. one of the worst things I've ever played and long five left. <laughs> when does this stage end <laughs> when does it end <laughs> we don't want to do this anymore <laughs> uh. 70, four right, Titans. my goodness this is, uh... Wow, this honestly was not what I was expecting, but this is what you might get sometimes in a random racing game, right? You pull a game up, I try, I buy it, I try it, I let you know if it's worth adding. Hey, sometimes you're gonna get duds like this that are not worth, not worth adding. Um... Goodness, this is bad. Like, I mean that by because of the physics, primarily. I mean, visually it's bad too, but the physics are just... Horrible. Like this can vibration effect is generally horrible the way it feels. Like it, it feels nothing. It just feels like your wheel is vibrating back and forth and is uncomfortable to hold in your hands. And then the literal, like the fact you feel like there's zero connection to the road, like you're just kind of floating and your steering inputs don't seem to correspond to what exactly is going on. Maybe it's got a steering assist? I think it's just literally like delayed. I don't know, this feels like a game that's got literally like maybe an optimization that physics aren't working correctly on a modern system or something, because it just feels so disconnected. I mean, you brake and accelerate, that's... Oh my goodness, and then it's just like, understeer for days. Alright, this visually appears to be the best visual thought shot we've had, and it's not great, so... And that's the finish. I'm not surprised I'm 30 seconds off the pace, because... That was horrible. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'll exit back to the main menu. Can you? Can you get 200 pounds? Damage 46%? No. I just want to get out of here. Alrighty. Expand Rally. Let's get to the conclusion right here. Expand Rally is a terrible game. Not worth it even if it was free. There are much better alternatives. Think Richard Burns Rally. There's a couple different sub-variants of that software. Um, Generally, this is one you're just going to want to avoid. It's just not good. Um, the physics are terrible. Visuals are terrible. Uh, the force feedback's terrible. It does support wheels. So I'll give it that. But I won't be going to make a review, I think, of this game unless I really feel like I'm running low on content and just want to do almost like a, a bashing game review. But uh, I think that's a little bit not necessary considering that this... Clearly, I've been able to touch on that in this, and this would be getting a very low score. So, how much do you really want to bash on a single title? Uh, probably not something I want to waste my time on. So um, hopefully this gives you a good insight on a game to avoid. Um, and don't spend a dollar on it like I did. 
it's not worth it. So, um, yeah, uh, hope to catch you in the next video, but most of all, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week.